We're gonna be knock, knock, knocking on pedos doors today. Today. Oh. What? What? <laughs> no. Son of a bitch. Good thing we got another one across the street. I don't get it. They, they. If we do a catch there, they close. Every time we do a catch, they shut that shit down. So we stop doing them in their parking lot because we don't want to shut their business down. Take the sign down, get a Red Bull. <laughs> it's locked. I know I'm there enough, right? Do you guys have plain rock stars like in the back? Uh, I can take a look. I yeah, appreciate it, buddy. Bad luck, 7-Eleven's closed across the street. You guys are out. Original? Yeah, just two or three of them, whatever you got. The three for five. Okay. All right, cool. Or are you getting anything else? Nah, that's it. They said because their manager runs them all off. I guess she's the biatch. She's not going to be good for the pedophile anyway. Probably be good for us. What wife was the most difficult? You heard it the other day, Pee Wee, by far. Well, I'll tell you, she wins. The, the most difficult was the wife from the other day. I don't know if she's going to reach out to us. I don't know that she wants to talk to us. She has every opportunity to reach out to us, and she hasn't. I so. feel so bad for the wife, too. Um, we are going to reach out, you guys. Sad, you guys. Sometimes, Joe Mares, what's up? Sometimes these wives get right back with them. We are going to reach out to her. Uh, uh, yes. We, and, uh, no, no, no. you know, see if we can offer her some kind of help. Be, I mean, that was hard last and... night. Tommy, what an example you are smoking a cigarette. Um, probably not a good one. This content isn't for kids anyway. It isn't for kids, and I put that it's not for kids. However, there are kids that watch, and I don't get mad if I find out a kid is watching because, again, if, if I had to choose for my kids to learn this way or learn the on the other side, I'd want them to learn this way, but yeah. Tommy didn't know you had to be perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and it's, it's not a good example, right? Shit. There's channels out there getting high, and I mean high not on weed. High on some other shit, you know? Now, now that's ridiculous. It heat all the time. I have parents that introduce me to their children on a live. And, and you know what? I don't think good or bad of it, you know? My kids watch this, you guys. They don't watch it anymore. They don't watch it anymore. Very rare do they watch it anymore because it's boring to them. They've seen them all, you know? Tired of the claim of racial gender. I know. You know what's funny is people are like, he won't catch a black guy. He won't catch a black guy. You know, and then they're like, we catch one. They're like, well, he won't call the cops, cops on a black guy. I'm like, you guys, I'm white. I'm white. What the fuck are you talking about? I only catch white people? I think I'm falling deeply in the longer I watch this live. Oh, your mom, here we go again with that bullshit. But y'all gonna come out there and karate chop your ass. I'm telling you. She got that Filipino fucking judo shit. Nonprofit trouble. I've never been in no nonprofit trouble. Never. Luckily, I never got a donation to get in nonprofit trouble. So it, I never did anything. We never got any grants. We never got anything. And we could have. We could have. Because we were nonprofit. But I'm not gonna talk about that again. But we, we could have. Tommy's the new Chris Hansen. No, we're just CPP, buddy. Chris Hansen was Chris Hansen, or Tom Hansen. Tommy, you get more donation than the average person who's working. Um, I, I don't get full time wages here. Not even I wouldn't even say at like fifteen dollars an hour. So I doubt that. Actually, I don't doubt that. I know that. Uh, Mike, I do this full time as of now, and and I'm still gonna do it full time. Uh, but I will be also adding a part time to it. I do want to do some house things. When we get back going, you guys, we're going to start doing that. Where we'll we'll do house things and, and, you know, like get like four or five catches on a on a weekend or whatever in a certain spot and then go up there, rent a place, and, and do it. We'll do that again. Set up cameras. I love it. We used to have uh, Dap's Diary. He would make little boxes like a tissue and put a camera in there, cut a little hole. Like, it was really fun. Put a camera, tie it up to the, to the you know, the fucking the, the, the room fan. Like, he used to do all kinds of cool shit. It was fun. And when you get a couple catchers together too, there's like cords and wires and gadgets all over the house. It's insane because everybody has like all this shit. It's just amazing. One of the Ped Panthers has a DV on his record. One of your Ped partners has a DV on his record. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that, man. People people grow. People are human. So I don't I don't pay attention to what what are the other Ped partners do. I don't pay attention. But you know what? As long as they're 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 making better strides to be a better person, then their record doesn't mean nothing to me. I don't care what they've done. As long as they're not predators and out there hurting women, kids, or or fucking chill, you know, any children, then you know that's it. That's it. I I, I think it's pretty crazy that people worry about what other people have done. Like, so what? 
when is the next CPP get together? I don't know, man. I want to do it so bad. I got so many places we can do it too. I got like a huge park we could do here and it's on private property and it's our property and we could do what we want. I was told we could have stripper fucking things, all that, you know, just kidding. But no, we could have jumping castles and shit when they wouldn't let us last time because people called and told the city on me, you know, I just couldn't believe it. People called and told the city on me. You know, stripper poles and platforms and, you know, things. <laughs> I mean, that's up to you, man. I I don't know. I don't think they're too young to know about this. So, obviously, me, I would talk to my kids, even at the age of five, like, talk to them about, you know, you, you know, like, no-no zones and shit like that, right? Like, I think it's okay to, to, to talk to them about it, but letting a five-year-old see us catching a predator, probably not a good thing. I mean, like I said, if it was the choice of them learning that, hey... I have a guy doing that to me too, you know, and getting them to talk about it, it would be worth it. Do you keep tabs on older catches and know their re-offense rate is? I, I don't know their re-offense rate. I just know like the national stuff that's written down. And even then I only know it when I read it. Uh, it's pretty high. It's pretty high. If somebody does this once, I, I forget what it is. They've already done it and they're going to do it again. Like uh, uh, high rates, you know, but I don't know. <laughs> and if you're on here, I don't know why you requested $1. I don't know. Somebody requested they needed help. Please send one dollar. I don't. I, I, to me, it sounded like more of a scam than anything. Why would you want me to send you one dollar? Why don't you collab anymore? Well, I'll tell you why. That ended up hurting us. You guys. Not only am I not, you know, not wanting to because we're just trying to do. We have our own style, and our own style is not not their style, and that's okay. Um, but we we almost lost a case because we we're in Texas, and another team had done something not bad, but they thought it was bad. I didn't think it was bad. And so they were like, hey, one of your team members did this today. We're like, no, we didn't. We were here. And he's like, well, this other one. We're like, we don't, we don't work with them. And he's like, well, you have. He's like, listen, you guys got to understand that, you know, by you working with these guys, you take on everything they do as well because you have cases with them. So we're just not, we're not doing it. I told you guys this story before, been. but I had a catch. Guy got arrested, right, with ICAC in Colorado Springs. Yeah, I was in Texas. I think it was Sherry gets a call. So this I think is when Sherry right. was working with us. Sherry, you're, you're good. Sherry gets a call and she's like, dude, ICAC said they're done working with us. They're done. And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, yeah, they said something about somebody got punched. We didn't punch nobody. So when I got back from Texas, I called him and I said, what's going on, man? And he's like, dude, he's like, you know, you guys choose to play by the rules or you, or you don't pretty much. You know, he's like, you guys had a catch and, and the guy got, you entered the house and the guy got punched. I said, what do you mean? And he told me the catch. I said, that's not us. And he's like, it's not you. You don't represent that team. I said, no. He goes, well, that's funny because I got four other videos of you working with them. And I said, yeah, we did a big collab, you know? And uh, he's like, well, this is what I'm telling you, Tommy. He's like, when you represent these teams, you're re representing them as well when they do things online. And so again, you know, we, we want to, we want to be, be, you know, if we're going to be punished, we want to be punished for, for, for our shit, you know? Start your own police branch, yeah, right? Hey, Tommy, is it just like because you were on the stuff again? You were jittery on your second to last catch? Hey, Tommy, here is a dislike. Okay. I'm jittery a lot of times. My second to last catch. So you're talking about the big, the big black guy. It's the same all the time there, buddy. So thanks for the dislike. Dislike counts anyway, but we can't see it, but it still counts. So thank you.